Welcome to another edition of Creative Current on LA Artstream. Today we're at ADC Contemporary Gallery and uh, International Art Exchange, uh, a nonprofit organization with the gallery located um, in the F section of Bergamot Station. I'm with the uh, artist Betsabe Romero, um, who is, uh, lives and works in Mexico City, but has exhibited internationally. Um, she came to prominence um, sometime in the, would you say the late 90s? Yeah, 90s. In the, in the late 90s, um, in large part uh, for her use of recycled materials, particularly materials connected with the automobile which is as significant an element in the Mexican landscape as it is here in our own. Welcome to Thank Los you. Angeles, Bienvenidos. <laughs> and um, can you tell me a little bit about how your career started? I know you studied art and art history both in Mexico, Mexico City and, and France. Can you tell us a, a little bit about your beginnings before you came to the automobile, the tire, chewing gum, we'll get into that. <laughs> well, at first I've studied communication in Mexico mm -hmm. in, at the university, and then, um, but always trying to do a kind of critic uh, to med media culture that in, in Latin America is too strong with very strong monopolies who are, um, I mean, so strong in the education of uh, all the people. So then I they d decided in a very lonely way because I couldn't find a kind of team to work in, in, in radio, for example, that is a media that I love. In a way, your work, um, almost all of your work, um, has very, very heavy bearing and reference, reference to um, the popular culture. Um, both, as we, as I mentioned, the culture of the automobile, but also street culture, urban culture, um, and communication, and the, the whole notion of the human imprint. Um, I mean, I guess originally you went from the human voice, the imprint of the human voice, to the imprint of human, the human hand, the human hand upon nature, um, when did you hit upon the notion of the automobile? I found the vehicle could be an object um, that um, history will uh, analyze on the time, and art is one of the, uh, the territories in which the car has to be part as a character so contradictory mm -hmm. uh, in front of of modernity. Well, I, at first, for example, I, I began to work with the a car as a whole, as an object, and then I began to deconstruct the car by its parts, its part, and uh, the object that the part that has been more, uh, I mean, interesting in terms of all the meanings uh, it has is the tire, for example. So the tire at first is made with uh, um, rubber, and the ru rubber at, is um, let, some Latin American material, the pre-Columbian material. And uh, in, somehow I, I go into this decolonization of materials with rubber, with chewing gum, for example, that I use as well with my tires. But the tire I use as, as, a, this, as this instrument that can be um, a printing a sil a cylind silon cylinder <laughs> print printing a cycloid yeah yeah, yeah that, absolutely because this um, this uh, uh, instrument to print ha has in, in this way has been used in every culture in mm -hmm. the history but the, the the will has not been used in all the cultures and occident says that in latin mesoamerican or colombian uh, cultures, uh, we were a little not so developed because we didn't use wheels. But I think that uh, wheels for um, uh, vehicles, 
and for especially used for speed, uh, is not as important as will to print memory, to keep memory. So in my case, it, I mean, in, um, it's not a, a technical or scientific uh, question, but in, in my idea as well, speed is a category, has been very overvaluated in, in, in Occident, Occidental world or culture, and, and in other side, memory is much more universal and important for history and for, for human being that now we have to, to, to think about. Yeah, absolutely. The, well, the other thing that I thought about, we were talking about the influence of, the native influence of pre-Columbian art. I, I think of calendars yeah. as being circles. Circles. You know, a reference to time. Well, games. And um, with the inscri inscriptions um, on those calendars. And also, I, that was another thing that what struck me about the work, this notion of a kind of anti-modernity, um, a kind of, um, which harkens back to, oh, you know, Ruskin and Morris in uh, England, this uh, against the, the mechanization of, of industrial processes. And, um, and then, of course, you're also drawing upon the colonial history as well. I mean, the rubber, the resource, um, the extruded resource, a natural resource, a product of the land, became a colonial, uh, a, a, a sort a, a, the subject of colonial exploitation. Um, and similarly, chicle. Yeah. Well, um, they're so important in the, I mean, in terms of consumption culture and right. the speed culture. No? Speed culture and consumption culture. And so, how do, how do we slow that down? Yeah, well, that's why uh, my idea is that art in so, somehow is a, 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 a way to, of resistance in many ways. Resistance, of, exactly. resistance of speed. Uh, and because we need to think, we need to, to, give, to, to, to give back the meanings or the, the knowledge uh, in, in, in a process that is slower than in the media, for example. And in my case, uh, I changed the skin of the car, I changed the, 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 the drawings on the, on the tires, but I changed them not in an industrial way, I do it by my hand, I do slowly and, and, and with another uh, sense, the sense that go, go back instead of go in, in, the, in the highways. And, and I'm recuperating the me memory of things that are, has been crushed, even in the roads, by, by modernity. Yeah, so yeah. that is the, it is a, it's going in reverse, if I yeah. can say. Uh, the other thing that I think is interesting is that in using these individual parts as vehicles of memory, if you will, you break it down in, into kind of historical elements. One of the first global moments in the world uh, has been after the, the conquest in, in Latin America in the 16th century. When Europe came into Latin America, it comes with all its oriental influences, with all these Arab influences, and we got all these into our colonial culture without the conscience of conflicts or wars mm -hmm. or whatever. Only the, this dia new dialogue that it was cultural, simply cultural. And so in, in Mexico, we adopted, for example, some uh, ceramic traditions as Talavera de la Reina that is very Spanish, but coming from China right. and from, uh, the, and then the porcelain, but then a, a very worked by Arabs. And, and now, if you ask in Mexico, from where is this, all this culture in this ceramic, and Mexico, Mexican people think that it's absolutely Mexican, no? And it, all this has been a world, a global uh, incorporation of every influences in, in, a, in a cultural dialogue, mm -hmm. because I think in culture, that is possible. Mm -hmm. It's in politics or in economics where they invented that we are totally separated and with boundaries right. everywhere, no? Right. That, that's why I, I like how you say that I use as vehicles, because I, the tire and the car has been as well 
symbolical vehicles to get into a, another references in, in history, but as well to get another kind of publics mm -hmm. to contemporary art. Because I, I, I try to work the cars, if it's possible, in the streets and with communities. And, and in this work, I, go, I get out of these white cubes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think the work itself naturally gives itself to a more expansive treatment. You want to move beyond the white cube into, into the streets. That's the natural place for it. And, and beyond and, and, and keep moving. I mean, two things that I, I, I just was thinking about. Um, number one, the idea that of, in a way, unpacking this um, cultural baggage, if you will, like piece by piece by piece, as you said, from you know North African Arabic sources through Spain, through its you know influx into the Americas, and then beyond that, the um, the idea of something that takes root here and keeps growing this idea, this notion of megalopolis, yes. you know, which. It's you know it's it's natural its natural growth is to is both upward and outward it's to to move up and to move around so naturally you're going to be moving out of a white cube and between borders how do how do borders break down in your work um, it, that's another thing that your work is about the, the very notion of mobility okay. what does mobility mean is it um, I mean, in terms of consciousness, uh, what is our reach? What, what is our extension? Yeah, what is in interesting is how a vehicle, a real vehicle, becomes a symbolic vehicle. And how I, I, I like to insist on in how a human, the human being is, defined, is more uh, defined as a, as a being moving not as, as a sedentary uh, uh, being, as before we were defined. I, I think that now uh, the mobility, the migrations, immigrations, the movements all around the world of gr groups of people, but as well in, in, in our individual life, I think all our uh, uh, changes in, in the life is the, the moments in which we, we can narrate our own stories, mm -hmm. histories or, biogra or biographies. And I think it's, it's, it's very interesting uh, for me how a, a, the car that is always a product of big uh, brands, uh, transnational brands, uh, has so local cultures, even in the, in, in the same country, the, the, like in the States, the, the car culture in the East Coast is completely different than in the West Coast, mm -hmm. and, and even with the same brands of car. Mm -hmm. and, and if you, and when I go to another countries, in India, in Australia, in Egypt, the car meanings are locals as well. So this, this, these changes, this, this uh, boundaries between local and, and global, individual and social and, and elitist culture and, and popular culture are, are crossing. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's, that is interesting. Well, uh, another contradiction that is interesting is that sometimes uh, men are like the leaders in areas that uh, usually we think as fem feminine areas in the in culture, as uh, women in the kitchen, but the best chefs are men and or sewing, and the best uh, uh, mode uh, fashion uh, designers are men. I decided to work in in cars as well as a as a men territory in which I I could as well put some contradictions mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the, this, uh, the symbolic way in which advertising use uh, a car it always is like a beautiful woman uh, that uh, is connected with the image of the car, no? The car image. And for example, I did in, in Egypt, in Cairo, I did a piece for the biennial. I saw how the cars, I was taking pictures in Cairo to, uh, where they, the, the car are covered, like you can cover cars as well in mm -hmm. the States, but there were like with uh, fabrics 
on different designs and uh, especially done for uh, this specific model and brand. Uh, so it was much more like uh, uh, glue on the, I mean, it's, uh -huh. uh, uh, that exactly. It was a second my, skin. Yeah, um, it was a second, second skin, skin on the car. Yeah, but my, my, my idea was like, it was over-designed, these dresses that I saw where they, mm -hmm. they sold these dresses and, and groups of men, they were like choosing the color and the design for their cars. And I thought that they were covering the, the car as they covered the women sometimes mm -hmm. because they don't, didn't want people touching or, or, or watching their cars when they were not using them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I, and I wanted to do a piece with this idea and my, my friend, the ambassador, Mexican ambassador, he was a little worried about my, my idea and it, it was not true. And we, it, he, we tried to talk with the Egyptian men to, to check check it out if it was a little bit true or not and in a dinner they they accepted not totally but they accepted that they really look for a special designs and uh, this the, in covering they don't want people touching it as, as, as they do with uh, with women it, and at the end mm -hmm. I did this piece like car making love pairs of car making mm -hmm. making love they could be even homosexual cars. Mm. And, and, and I, I won the first prize in the biennial. Which is an, a contradiction of Arab culture, where they have a culture that would it's seem very to be sensual incredibly well. homoerotic. And in, in fact, <laughs> homoeroticism is entirely prescribed. It's, exactly. it's completely a different thing. And to interpret it that way would be a, a a, a, a cause for a, a serious <laughs> issue. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. I, the, the name of the piece was only like body um, covered bodies, right. and they gave me a, the ceremony, the first prize. But the, the next day, they disappeared the piece, and they disappeared me in the website. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Um, it's it's funny. Uh, the two things here in America, uh, the car has also been used via advertising as um, symbolic of sexual. social mobility, sexual yeah. and social mobility, certainly, and upward mobility, even, yeah. which of course is changing as, and of course, our cars are changing. I remember one of your pieces that sort of evoked for me like a rose window, like one of a, a gothic rose window. And I was wondering if, if you know, you were incorporating that kind of like French Gothic <laughs> sort of um, motif into your work as well. I mean, there are all sorts of motifs, but... Um, uh, well, this cut paper that as well is, is another kind of global uh, uh, manifestation that came from Spain, but that originally comes from China. Mm. And now uh, in, in Mexican culture is all over all over the streets, uh, the cut paper, I don't know if, if you have been there, but in, during this, uh, the little town's celebrations, they put uh, like these lines uh, all over the streets with pe cut paper. And this cut paper for me is this, uh, this feeling of, of the, this, uh, I mean, capacity of celebration, of forgiveness that people always get. I don't know how, after problems, crisis, uh, Poverty. They, 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 they always get, uh, get again this possibility to renew this little skin because it, this, this paper is so fragile as, as our, our happiness. And, and, but again and again, each month, each two months when there is a, a celebration, you see every little town uh, climbing, uh, I mean, hanging all these little papers that is cut papers like, like the small uh, little skin that mm. has to be renewed. But uh, that's why I use cut paper and because this origin, Chinese ori origin, again, is this global and very uh, ancestral kind of global thing that uh, now is incorporated in, in, in our deep culture, you know? But, uh, and I, I think as well in these cut papers as, 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 as big uh, windows, huge mm. windows to to our past and our memory. And that's why I use these Gothic huge windows mm -hmm. uh, in, that are from cathedrals in, in France. 
-hmm. And I presented in France and in New York this business. That's mm -hmm. why, as well, I did at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. When did you start using chewing gum <laughs> in, in your work? And I've noticed that you've all, you sort of incorporate the chewing gum with the rubber in certain pieces. Yeah, I, I began to use the, the chewing gum when I, I saw that the origin of chewing gum is a tree that is very similar to the rubber tree. And, and it, when I saw these origins and I saw the importance of the symbol of consummation culture of chewing gum, and I, I, I thought that at first I carved the memory that has been crushed and I'm recuperating with all this work, but then the chewing gum comes and, and covers the memory because the, the chewing, gum, chewing gum culture is, is this, like something that you don't, uh, the flavor that doesn't go deep, you know? That you don't consume. So it's only these, these colors, you no? Know? And, and these colors specifically in Mexico are so, uh, there is, a, I mean, so big, the, the, the vivid. Yeah, mm -hmm. vivid and intensive and, and a lot. We have the flavors of chewing gum that you cannot believe it, like a chili with a tamarind and, and strawberry with lemon and I don't know, all kinds and all colors. In some of the work, I see there's this multiplicity of visual um, material reference. Um, cut paper, um, and also tiles, the sort of, which is something that invokes both you know, Arabic, Spanish, and, and Mexican proper. It's superimposed on something that could be a plate, or it could be a hubcap. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you, you have mentioned very important things about this piece, but um, I only want to add that the name is, uh, is a piece that has been roll and break. And all, uh, I used all the opposite of these resistant materials that the car industry sells, that uh, everything can be uh, resistant to the, the weather and everything. In my case, it's the opposite. I think memory and I think to recuperate it and to, to retrace it is, is, is very fragile. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it, it lasts, but but the, it's, it's fragile as a, cut, as a Chinese paper, as a ceramic, as a porcelain. Now, this is something, these, this what do you? These strips are, are on rubber. This kind of rubber is used to renew tires. That is something right. almost forbidden all over the world, but in <laughs> Mexico, in, in, in some countries, it's not forbidden, so you use this. And I carve, and because it's very dangerous mm. to do that on tires, mm. I use like death as iconography of sacrificial stones in pre-Columbian time, because these uh, sacrificial stones usually are circles mm -hmm. as as a uh, as a tires. They are very similar. That's the shape is similar as a tire, as well as the the ball game on mm. the on this uh, pre-Hispanic sites. Mm. Uh, that's why I use this iconography, and it's mint uh, chewing gum incrustated. The white oh. is chewing gum. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow, I see, I see. And what about this piece here? Now, uh, yeah. you've done this with, with fenders. Fenders, yes. And this is covered with these uh, scotch uh, mm. the co colors that, that people use to glue uh, some parts of the car when they are they broken mm -hmm. instead of buy the new one. Right. Maybe here is not very common, but in Mexico, this this kind of type is a type that people use to 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 arrange ev right. everything, even right. the door, the windows, the the, the mirrors, of, uh, the car mirrors. But uh, and it makes a reference again to something very ephemeral, and at the same time, you know, connected to. The, the mechanical process of an automobile, like a, a radiator yeah. fan or something, and at the same time, something very ephemeral, something like, you know, like a, a, a kite, a whirlwind, uh, something that is gonna be blown away and that's gonna vanish in, uh, you know, a moment in a blaze of color. So, um, I think uh, in LA is uh, the place 
in which I've seen much more cars in the world. I know. It's, 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 a, it's a depressing phenomenon, but unfortunately <laughs> it's, it's... a very car it's, city. It's the only place in which an exhibit, in an exhibition I had many years ago. It was my first exhibition with tires was in LA, actually. Uh, well, and it was the only place in which the, the visitors could tell me the brands of every single object. I, I'm sure, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they can. Well, I, you know, I hope you, there are many, many more uh, crossings of the border here into LA, uh, into our very California a car culture and uh, with your, all of your insight and amazing art. Thank, uh, you. thank you very much. Thank Isabel you. Romero. Thank you very much.